Hello there, Pisces. How's it going, you guys? Time for your reading. This looks like a really great reading. I'm so happy that we got past that rough part of the, of the month. This looks so, so much better. <laughs> uh, the first reading that you got here is um, Ingwaz. Ingwaz is male energy and is very, very potent. It's uh, pro-creative energy, um, and it's you most likely something uh, that is going to propel you forward in a very, very uh, positive way. Um, it's right next to uh, Kainaz, and it's also next to Gable. All right. So now Kainaz is talking about victory and success. So, you know, you guys are running into victory and success for sure. You have Gabo back here. Gabo is blessings and gifts. So maybe somebody's going to actually offer something to you that's going to propel you forward. Very positive. Um, I also see Pertho here, and Pertho is talking about the unknown. So um, things are not as they seem, okay? Things are not as they seem, Pisces. Um, you know, uh, you're going to, I think, uh, I think something positive is going to just pop out. Because look, you have Pertho next to the sun. So whatever, whatever it is that is, um, that is unseen or not known, is going to be known because you've got this sun right next to Pertho. This is really similar to uh, yesterday's reading. So, you know, uh, the energy must be still moving slow because uh, for some of you, this hasn't actually uh, aspired yet. But I do see it coming very soon because uh, the unknown, where this Pertho, is right next to uh, the sun, Soilo. So, yeah, and, and also I pulled in an additional rune out and I got Elhaz here. So you are protected, Pisces. This is a, this is a rune of protection. All right. So you are protected. All right. So it looks like a really positive, good read. Um, you know, and this is just a general reading, you guys. So you know, sometimes the timing isn't isn't all there. That's why sometimes I'll continuously pull the same runes out, like this one um, and this one, because it's still in the process of transpiring. All right. And the first tarot card you got here is strength, and strength is uh, you know you're strong. This is Leo energy, so you could be also dealing with a Leo for some of you. And then I see the five of wands here. The five of wands is talking about competition. Um, you know, there's nothing wrong with a little healthy competition, Pisces. And, you know, uh, with the knight of wands in reverse here, it's talking about you got a fire lit under you. You're, you're raring to go. <laughs> you are ready to go. That's for sure. You're ready to get things done. All right, so this is very positive here, too. It's just, you know, you're just, you want to go, you know. But you're chill, you're chill, but you want to go. I mean, it's like you got a fire lit under you. You're, you know, you're very anxious, uh, especially with this uh, Kainaz here. This is victory and success. And right next to uh, um, Inguaz, it's like, wow. These are very, very powerful uh runes this is like very powerful and so is Kainaz too all right so it looks really good here I'm gonna pull um, I'm gonna I'm gonna read what this uh, particular rune means here uh, if you're new to the channel you guys this particular rune is called the all warm room uh, the all warm, all warm. <laughs> and uh, what it is the all warm is a uh, is an alphabet and it's an ancient alphabet uh, from what is now uh, Ireland and it's a language too you can actually you know you can write words with this 
But anyway, you also do uh, readings with them as well. And it's talking about tree, tree energy. Every single stick in here, every single, teen, every single rune here is, um, is a different tree. All right. So it's kind of cool. So anyway, this particular rune here is called uh, Muin. And we've pulled this before, just kind of recently, within the next past couple of days. And uh, these remind me of uh, oracle cards. They're pretty cool. Uh, this is uh, the blackberry bush. This is a blackberry tree. Okay. And uh, Muin arrives when it's time to reap what we have sown. He welcomes us to celebrate the bountiful harvest our hand, our hard work has produced. <laughs> Take time to celebrate accomplishments with those you love, but remember that goals have to be achieved that have been achieved need to be maintained. So we've got this before. This is talking about, you know, you're going to you're going to reach some sort of a goal here, but you need to maintain it. OK, got to maintain it. All right, that's not really good. Let me um, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I kind of rearranged the table a little bit, so. Oops. Let's get you a card here. I'm dropping them already. Uh, going on here with Pisces. The witness. The witness. And we keep getting this card again, too. We keep getting the witness. And the witness is, is something spiritual. I remember that, and I know it's the very last card of the de of the deck too. The witness that has been by your side all along is now ready to become your ally. You thought you were a doer, but today you discover that things happen when you get out of your own way. Witness creation unfolding before you. Change reality. Be fine by finding stillness and letting your true intent reveal itself. So let your true intent reveal itself there, Pisces. All right. And I'll get you one of these, and then I guess I reckon I'll let you go. It's kind of a short, sweet read. <laughs> Looks like a really good read, too. So you are protected. I see L has there, so um, yeah. First quarter moon in Scorpio, release your blocks. Release your blocks. Hmm. New moon in Pisces, attuned to the divine. Attuned to the divine. And at the bottom of the deck it says, first quarter moon in Aries, step into your power. Step into your power. All right, Pisces? All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. All right. Bye for now, Pisces.